Liverpool and Crystal Palace to start our day. Jurgen Klopp's final season in charge of the Reds, trying to end it with another trophy. We'll recap the team news right now. The Barclays starting lineup for both clubs, starting with Liverpool, must it? Well, it's a strong team. There's three changes to the team that played Manchester United. Look at the goalkeeper there. Allison's back in, back available to play. Another change in centre-back. Konate comes in there. Curtis Jones is preferred to Sobers line in midfield. Same 4-3-3. Three, three. Front three players, time to really produce for Liverpool now. Palace coming off a 4-2 loss against Man City last Saturday. Some positives for them in that contest, this team today. Yeah, well, you look at the front line, and Michael Isse is a very talented, skillful player that will play on the right-hand side. Ezra on the other side is, is likewise, same kind of threat. He'll uh, give to Liverpool. Mateta, big striker that's going to be tasked really today, mostly for holding the ball up to get them going on the counter -time. And before the game, both teams reaffirm their commitment to the important message that there is no room for racism. Three home games to go then for Liverpool, starting with Palace today. They have been the source of some telling setbacks in the past. And Stephen, if there is a, a fatigue for Liverpool, how dangerous could Palace be against them today? Stephen, where are you with the scenario? Is it must-win time for Liverpool? Yeah, 100%. They need to win this game. They need to make sure that they can put pressure on both Manchester City and Arsenal. And here's Robertson. Now Nunez took it first time. Here's Wharton. Nice football here from the away team. Elise. Mitchell. Danger here. It's Eva. And Crystal Palace take the lead. What a beautifully worked goal. Sumptuous passing. Eza with the finish. And Liverpool in his painful week. A damaging twist again. Well, what a beautifully worked goal that is from Crystal Palace. It's just this ball here. Adam Wharton picks it up and Darwin Nunez doesn't see him. He should go in on him and he should be putting him under pressure. And then they get runners off the midfielders. Endo doesn't track his man. And then he wanders into the centre of the goal as a Curtis Jones goes to press and he comes away from as a and now Ezra finds himself in the, in the box. It's all about the pullback then. Can you pick out your teammate? And Mitchell does exactly that on a plate. Doesn't have to break his stride. Just passes it into the goal past, past Allison. This is what I'm talking about though, Joe. The position. Oh, he's almost left. Mateta in the clear. Short for Lee Mateta. And the goal by clearance was remarkable. Perfectly times for Andy Robertson. So do you be 2 0 Palace? Well, how important could that be? Well, we just think that the danger's gone. You see Van Dyke here and he just slips, loses his footing completely. Keep your eye on Andrew Robertson at the bottom of the picture. He does so, so well to recover. That is incredible defending. That is so close. <laughs> Robertson's corner. Not been cleared yet. Van Dyke was there, and it's turned off the bar. So close. Endo, I think it was. Diaz for Jones. Robertson in first time. Great ball! Oh, and Henderson made the save there. Diaz denied. Well, a look of shock on Diaz's face, and no wonder. This is a save that. Sam Dean Henderson doesn't know all that much about, just gets across, makes sure that his footwork's good, gets across the goal, throws a left arm at it, manages to push it over the bar. Incredible save. He could go further behind here, Elise. Now it's, a, it's Mateta! Oh, wow. Offside flags up, it wouldn't have counted. <laughs> the improvisation there was rather flamboyant from Sean Philippe Mateta. Well, it's a mistake again, Canate playing a ball into midfield, Endo gets caught out, and then they break. Because they're brave, out of possession, Elise finds Ezra on that left-hand side. McAllister looking for Salah, great pass. Salah up against Lerner. Pushed away by Henderson. And a fine first half, Tyrant Mitchell, Hughes, Mateta, set back for Elise. Only simple say that for Addison, but again, a neatly worked move by Pavis. McAllister. 
Nudiez, Henderson delayed. Luis Diaz now, the angle's tight. Turned away by Munoz. And now the offside flags up. Well, whether the offside flag was to go up or not, they make a mess of it. They really do. Nunez does well to initially get there. Henderson's in two minds whether to come or whether to stay in his goal. He decides to stay, which is probably the wrong decision. And Nunez can't pick out Diaz properly. Diaz makes a mess of it at the back post, but fortunately for Crystal Palace, the offside flag goes up. Good pass there by Canate for Jones. Nunez. Step back for Sava. In towards Jones, who is well placed. Blocked there by Munoz. It's going to be a Liverpool corner. Robertson with the ball in. Up goes Van Dijk. Nunez! Blocked away, McHughes. What a big chance there it was. And Palace just about to survive. Well, he won't know anything about this save either. And that's the second save that Dean Henderson's made. That has just hit him. He gets across and... Nunez strikes it well, but just hits his right knee, crashes over, goes over the bar. <laughs> Salah was there. And he could not seize the chance. Luis Diaz. Nunez. It's the boss line. Salah. Alexander Arnold with too high. Paddis change on the way soon here too. Andre Ayu. Jordan Ayu rather is now beneath us, ready and waiting. Gakpo. Good ball. Jones was there. Didn't go for goal. Walton. Big shot for a handball there, but the appeal was waved away. The VAR will check it. Yeah, it was a big opportunity. This is the handball. Robertson tries to cross it. You can see there the arms are in, they're tight to his body. There's no penalty there, but big opportunity for Curtis Jones just before this happened. Sebastian lies out, swinger. Van Dijk was there. And Jota almost snatched onto it. Those who are fearful of fatigue. Can they summon something now? Sebastian lies going through. Chance! Knocked away by Nathaniel Klein, the former Liverpool player. Well, has he not scored? It comes through from a touch from Will Hughes into Sabozlai, and he does the right thing. He draws the keeper, and then he just passes it into Jota. But what a recovery challenge that is from, from Klein. Here's the corner, at swinging ball in. Up goes Van Dijk. He's looping, and Henderson will gather. Ezra's ball in. Anderson was there. With the save from point lat range, Mateta surely had to score. Well, I think we've seen a couple of bizarre saves today. Again, how does Mateta miss? Allison knows nothing, pushes out a right hand. It's an incredible save. Wow, what a big opportunity that is for Crystal Palace to almost put this game to bed. Just gets on the wrong side of Canate. Too strong for him. Salah's touch, now then Gakpo, four forward here, great ball by Gakpo, Jones! You can't believe he's missed it. The whole ground here in disbelief. What a chance again. Well, he just cannot believe it, Jurgen Klopp. It's a lovely little touch from Mohamed Salah, a nudge in the back of Klein. Look at that for a pass, and then he just gets himself across Adam Wharton, and he's petrified of taking him down. He's petrified of picking up a red card by bringing down Curtis Jones, and he just tries to open up that right foot and bend it into the bottom corner, and he gets too much on it. That's a huge, huge miss. I don't know how many times I'm going to say that this game, about big misses in a game. This is quite incredible. How is the game still 1-0? One one yeah. Gakpo. Jota, Gakpo, so well, there's the cross, Elliot's coming in, and Henderson repels him. Gakpo, Jota was there, and Salah! 
It just won't happen. Quite remarkable. Another chance has come and gone. Yeah, well, it's come from that left-hand side, and Mitchell knows not. He just gets across, he follows the run of Salah, and that is outstanding defending. Alisson moves forward. Three years ago from that famous goal away at West Brom. It's beyond him, towards Van Dijk. Oh, and it goes past everybody. And out of play behind for a goal kick. And it's all over. The week when the wheels came off for Liverpool and for Jürgen Klopp. Their first defeats in 29 home games in the Premier League. Liverpool players defeated and dejected. Beaten by a wonderful Crystal Palace team whose winning goal came early. Barry Ezra, they are all but safe now. But Liverpool lose ground in the title race. Young Flop's grand farewell may not have the dream for Narvi. Liverpool beat here at home twice in the space of three days after they've gone 14 months without losing here. The players, the fans, can't quite believe what they've seen. Their team are beaten, and it means Arsenal and City are the two favourites now for the title this year. They had chances yet again, but chances came and went, and their defensive frailty there for all to see once more. The Berrieza, the hero of the day for Crystal Palace. A great performance for them, but for young Klopp, this is a bitter one to take. Ahmed, Liverpool here, beaten by a goal to nil. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. And for even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock. And be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you there.